CineMaker can be used both wired and wirelessly. So for those of us who don't want to be bogged down with wires and hardware, can you tell me a little bit about the um, benefits and some of the drawbacks of using Wi-Fi with CineMaker? For sure. Uh, benefits, as you mentioned, is uh, not be burdened with, uh, with all the wires and gear required to, uh, to do that. There is a uh, great amount of mobility and agility to be able to throw an iPad and four iPhones in a backpack and, and take off and make multi-camera production. So um, agility, mobility. Uh, the only downside is, is that Wi-Fi is not optimal for all situations. Um, mm. There's, uh, when there's excessive interference in the air, uh, that can be anything from a group of, you know, 15, a dozen, 15 people in a room using their cell phones or not even using their cell phones, just having them on. Uh, the the system will uh, have issue sending the HD streams through the air. So, not for every situation, but um, depending upon what you're doing, it can work all the time. Uh, if you're doing events and trade shows, you're definitely going to want to go with something wired, where you can get the reliability of a of a wired connection. Now, do I need a router while using Wi-Fi? You do not need a router, although you can use one. We recommend to uh, just make sure you have Wi-Fi on on your tablet and your phones. And from there, um, CineMaker will recognize each other uh, as long as they're within proximity. So it creates its own peer-to-peer -peer network. If you do want to use a router, there may be cases where you want to connect CineMaker wirelessly across a college campus, for example. and you can connect both devices onto the same wireless network and have something a mile away and be able to pick up a camera. So um, don't need one. Uh, there are certain cases where you might want to use one. But you can be on a beach with no internet, no router, uh, and be recording and editing and making videos. Oh, wow. No, so none of the devices have to be connected to the internet? Not at all, unless you want to do a live stream, in which case the tablet is the only one that needs a connection to the internet. Okay, super easy. Yeah, yeah. So how do you test to make sure that you have an optimal connection while using Wi-Fi? Sure. Well, while you're within the app, uh, we'll show you here, you can go into the camera browser on the top right here. And you'll see those are the four connected uh, capture assistants, and those are all smartphones. This would display any other uh, encoders, IP cameras, uh, or virtual cameras you create in the app. But this little connection icon gives you a diagnostics of your connection. Oh. So uh, what you want to watch here is to make sure that your delay um, doesn't really go over two tenths of a second there. If you see this approaching a half second or a second, it's having problems getting the video to the tablet. Um, and then this is a normal pattern here. Um, as long as you don't lose throughput that drops completely or you're getting huge spikes, you're okay. That's a healthy connection. And you can go and check each one of your various um, connected phones or cameras um, as one may be a further distance and may have to be dealing with more interference and could have problems. So, but that's a nice visual way to check that. And we can go back into our screen here and now we have all our cameras connected Wi-Fi oh, and, and that's it. And these are just these cameras right here on the table. We're uh, pointed back at us. Uh, and all the cameras. All working <laughs> Wi-Fi. Beautiful. Cool.